Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everyone in between, welcome to my new apartment. Yay, I moved. I moved back in May. It's been ages since I've seen you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you around uh, while I'm dressed in this amazing getup um, with my hair not brushed, but who cares, you know, let's just keep it real and raw. So here we go. We've got the laundry. Very nice, very big. Bit of a step up from the last laundry we had. All the stuff there. It's Saturday, so every second Saturday we do a massive clean of the house. Hubby's not here today because he has to work, do some track work, but that's alright, you know, we've got to pay them bills somehow. So we walk down the corridor, and the first door on the right hand side is a bathroom. And it looks very similar to the bathroom that we had in the other place. Pretty much the exact same setup. Oh, hey. So that's the bathroom. Then we come to the second door on the right. And this is our incredible computer room. And that buzzing that you hear is to say that my Chinese as finished heating in the microwave. So we come in here. That's my desk there, all set up and beautiful and looking nice. And then Hubby's desk is over here. He's got some chocolate freckles over there to snack on because he's working from home. And you got like a little view out the side there. All my clothes are in this. Some storage area for our stuff. All of our boxes are up there. Clothes, and then the other side's clothes. So that is the study area. So we close this door. And this mirror is a new addition. Not really, I just put it there. It's supposed to go in that room, but I couldn't be bothered. And then the last door on the right is our bedroom. So in the middle of washing the doona covers, but the bed is made. Um, we've got our bookcases in here. So originally this was an activities room where we would just do like workouts and stuff, film videos, all that stuff. Not that any of that has happened since we've moved in, but yeah, we changed it to the bedroom because it's a lot darker and a lot warmer than the actual bedroom. There's that view again. The city's just on top. Just there. It's not a good day to see it because it's a little bit wet today. But yeah, the, that's the city right there. And then you're not going to see it, but in between the building and the tree is the Harbour Bridge, which is just there. So very cool. So this is the bedroom. This is where we sleep. And then what looks like a laundry behind me isn't actually a laundry. It's the world's largest storage cupboard. If we open it up, we can see there's all the things inside. Now, I don't know who builds a storage cupboard without putting shelves in the storage cupboard, but the people who designed this apartment did. So we had to uh, make our own sort of shelving slash storage system within the storage cupboard. But it's good. It keeps pretty much all the stuff uh, away and hidden in a nice neat tidy area then behind me we come into the main heart of the apartment we've got the kitchen looks exactly like the other kitchen fridge look at the microwave original microwave hasn't exploded yet stove all of the stuff as per usual although it's all flipped like everything is flipped so this used to be on that side and that used to be on this side but we've swipped it over because it's a different setup powerpoints over there and there's also more room on this side which is good but on this side there's less room so we just sort of tried to keep you know what we need on the regular out on the bench top yeah pretty much very very similar to the other area calendar lives here now not on the door that's cool got a little gift from our friend there the intercoms here for some reason this intercom is black and white whereas the intercom at the other place 
this color, so I don't know. But anyway, then we've got our beautiful lounge room. Look at that, so much room for activities. It's so beautiful, hold on. Come this way, see, can you see? See the big setup that we have? Oh, it's amazing. So good. So we've got our beautiful chaise, which I pretty much sit on all the time on my days off. Got a couch, got all of the ironing because I couldn't be bothered. That's probably three months worth of ironing right there. Haven't done a single bit of ironing since we moved in. Coffee table, expedites, beautiful expedites. TV, all the consoles. So that's that area. And then we also have bonus dining room table area. I know, how cool is that? You can actually sit at a table and eat food and there's room for it. It's so good. Um, but I use it to do work on days that I'm not at work. So on days that I have off technically. But you know, learning is never done. You always have to learn and brush up on skills and keep up to date with the research. So that's where I pretty much study, even though I'm not officially studying. And then our balcony. Say goodbye to the little square balcony that we used to have wraps around oh it's amazing it's actually quite cold out there so i'm not going to go out there today but i'll show you there's our view again of the city in the distance there is our little barbecue and then we've got our plants over there we've got a little table to sit outside on days where it's not too cold storing the esky and our plants and the air conditioner and then we're at the back of the building this time, so we've got a different view, which is lovely. We get the sunset, so we get the sunrise from over there in the morning, and then light all throughout the day, and then the sun sets just out there, and oh my gosh, it is the most beautiful thing I get to witness every day because I live here in this apartment. Then we're coming to the back of the apartment and this door, so this is what, this was the original bedroom which we had set up for about a month, but it is freezing in here. Freezing, 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 freezing. Probably because it's got that massive window in it. But yeah, now this is the activities room and some clothes storage and the laundry area. But we've got the TV set up here. We used to have the switch plugged in to do like Just Dance or whatever, but we still got the Chromecast in so we can cast yoga if we feel like it. Not that we felt like it lately. We've got our push-up bar slash chin-up bar there, corner in here, this is being used as a coat hanger rack because it's too rickety and it hurts my butt when I sit on it, but yeah, you've got a beautiful view to look at when you work out, my makeup table's there now because we've got some actual direct sunlight on the face, it's lovely, there's David's closet, more clothes in there, His shirts and everything, and the towels, and more clothes and I'll just close that and then what is this door is it an ensuite bathroom yes it is look at that how nice so we only use the one bathroom like we use both bathrooms to go to the bathroom the toilet but to shower and stuff we only use this shower so quite big quite long but you know despite that you only have this one little shower head to water you so it's not good even though it like could fit two people it still only washes one person um, there I am again hello beautiful sink my towel on the rack so yeah that is our new apartment it is approximately well it is exactly one level above our old apartment so we're in exactly the same building exactly the same suburb we just wanted to see what it was like to live in a bigger place because we're sort of in the air about whether we're going to purchase somewhere and we wanted to figure out whether a we could have afford the mortgage repayments b whether we could keep a place like this clean and see whether a place like this is big enough for us and it turns out it's more than big enough for us and if we are going to purchase something we might not go for a three bedroom place we might go for like a two bedroom place but yeah that's it that's all that's all i have for you uh, i know vita's 
um, happening at the moment and vlogs and all that jazz and uh, I'd love to do it every day but I don't think I will um, but I will you know keep you posted keep you updated uh, I'll try and get back on the tubes um, I've forgotten to log in for my Lutube Instagram but I'll try and find that again and log in and start posting pictures and stuff and I am halfway through getting all the Tasmanian footage out and together and edited um, but it is quite a process quite a long process and I've just been trying to find my feet with work and get a schedule in and all that stuff so but I'll keep you updated on all of that I just wanted to show you the new place uh, so you don't get too surprised when I start uploading videos and you're like where is this girl filming from yeah it's a new, it's a new, new apartment uh, our lease will be up in November so we might be probably strong possibility of us moving um, to a different location again but uh, that'd be cool. So yeah, I hope you're all going well. I uh, hope everyone is fine, happy, healthy, and coping with all of this COVID madness. Hope you're staying safe, uh, self-isolating, and wearing masks and doing all that stuff for the, the community just to make sure that the spread doesn't occur. Um, we're doing pretty well in Sydney at the moment. I know that Melbourne's kind of getting it hit pretty hard, um, which is kind of, Kind of sad and unfortunate, but you know we all just we all have to play our part uh, in the in the grand scheme of things. Every little bit goes a long way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Comment down below. Let me know how you're going. See ya. Peace out.